Welcome to a behind the scenes look into the room where I record my ASMR videos. This video has been a long time coming and today is the day that I'm going to bring it to you as part of my 200,000 subscriber special. But first of all, I'd like to ask anybody that's not already subscribed to my channel, if you can just click the subscribe button, that will just help notify you when I release new videos. Now here is the room in which I record my videos. So right now I've just got the camera connected to my, I've just got the microphone connected to my camera. And I just want you just to have a listen for a moment. Now, you should be able to hear some background noise. So this room was built for the primary purpose of recording ASMR videos. And for me, when I first started recording ASMR videos, the focus was very heavily orientated on the sound recording quality. And I've been lucky that I've been involved in, in this type of industry and I had some uh, help from some friends that have uh, experience in this type of field into how I should go about doing it. And so that was uh, quite a while ago and I had the opportunity to set out an area where I could actually build my own room to record ASMR videos. So let me show you the room. So here I store in the entrance some of my artwork, baby carrier, bags, and here is uh, some artwork that I just stuck on the wall. There's a massage table back behind there so I'll try and keep it away. I haven't been able to find a way to store my artwork very well. And here we come into my computer desk and uh, storage, so. It's 7.30, 20 degrees. Today's like the coldest day of the year. It's amazing. Uh, that's 20 degrees Celsius. Um, there is my 100,000 subscriber special plaque. YouTube sent to me a little bit of artwork a little bit more artwork and over here I have my let's see if we can improve things a little all right so that there is my RC car and there is and uh, this is just my sort of storage area so you can see the uh, Dr. Dimitri shirt uh, transmitter battery chargers drills and just general storage so again that's my uh desk and uh, storage space. Now, let us go to where all the magic begins. So first, let's just talk about, hang on a second. So here is the kind of the start of the, the room itself. So basically you can hear noises outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to close that door. We're going to look at this door.
So this here is uh, 56 millimeters thick with double, a double rubber sealed all the way around the door and uh, down the bottom I put an aluminium strip in and if you look down at the bottom there you'll see a uh, rubber seal that drops down to create a seal all the way around the door um, and so this is uh, very very thick so what we're going to do now is just going to back away and bring you into the room welcome to the room in where I do my recording so you can see my background uh, it's more like a audio recording setup over there uh, microphones tripod and uh, kind of looks like a little bit of a mess at the moment but if I was to take the camera down to where the other tripod is you would see the perspective in where I'm recording right now crinkle heaven 12 so I've recorded the talking version I've got to record the no talking version so basically this here is the room um, you're going to see all of these panels all of these all of these panels which you're familiar with in the videos and uh, these panels we'll just pull one down pull this one down so these panels are familiar with the videos and behind you'll see the wooden frame and the acoustic material this uh, acoustic material is actually in all of these walls so this room was built to record ASMR videos and so one of the the things that are necessary for audio recording in general is a soundproof room so this room was built and designed for audio recording for you and um, this this wall here has um, drywall how do you say it in America we call it plasterboard or drywall so there's uh, one layer of drywall and then there's a uh, layer of what's called green glue and then there's another layer of drywall and then in the middle of the wall it's filled with acoustic material insulation um, but it's primarily it's called acoustic sorb um, which is this stuff and so that's in the dry in the wall itself and on the other side of the wall is another layer of drywall another layer of green glue and another layer of drywall and then on the front wall it's a similar thing with another layer of drywall green glue drywall and acoustic insulation in the wall itself and if you have a look uh, Let's see, where is that? It's about up here. So if you look up here, let's see if I can, there we go. You'll see up the top of the ceiling, you'll see um, one big panel, and that's the same as the acoustic paneling on the wall, but it's a large panel on the ceiling to try and stop the sound from when it bounces up. The, the material absorbs the sound and then it bounces up into the ceiling and then bounces back through the material and that deadens the sound and stops the reverberation and we have let's see and you'll see a where is it another one sorry I'm trying to get used to the camera 
there's another one on the road. And you'll also notice a curtain. Hang on, let me lock it off. Well, a curtain is something that I can draw it on. And this also has one layer, another layer, and another layer. that I can use to help um, as another audio barrier between the two rooms to stop the sound from passing through. So basically the, the room itself is set up with as much thickness as possible in the walls and uh, material to, to stop the sound from outside getting in and to then treat the room. So it has soundproofing and it has sound treatment using these. So I'll see if I can give you an example. So if you can listen to the sound of my voice and now listen to the sound of my voice, you'll hear it quite dead. And then if I bring it back over to here, you'll hear that the voice will be clearer. So it's designed just to try and stop my voice from reverberating around the room. So, you know, I've got carpet tiles on the floor. I have a uh, sound treatment all around the room. I've got it on the roof. I have a curtain. Um, You'll see here, let's move the tripod, that, that there is the background that you're familiar with. Let me see if I can just fix that up a little bit. That's the background in my uh, manual relaxation videos. So I tried to build the room so I've got one background here, forgive the light. I've got another background here where I record a lot of my videos as well, just a plain white background. So plain white, Dr. Dimitri. I'll record over here a lot of my videos as that background. Um, I kind of plan to do like a different one over here, but I've kind of painted this room one color. And then I've painted this one the white color. And then I planned, I planned to paint this wall, an actual different colour. So now I've still got a little bit of um, stuff over here, which is just sitting on the floor, another tripod. I've got some drawers over here. Um, so in these drawers, I've got some shirts and stuff in there. Um, just if I want to change clothes. I have some lights. Um, I don't have much light here. So I've got some uh, lights here, batteries, little LED lights, a few more little LED lights. Some cables, uh, microphone stuff down here, uh, dead cat for when I go outside, some cables, microphone, adapters, stuff, uh, some more shirts and some cloth and stuff like that. So that's just some stuff that I like to keep handy. So another perspective from the room. Um, so Again, you can see sort of my relaxation. My relaxation area, my other background. That's one of my lights, my uh, Boba Fett painting. And here, let's see if I can get a better perspective on Recording. Here we have a little perspective on what you might see in a video. So, for example, that might be the, the view that you have. So, I bring the camera back. So, for Crinkle Heaven, I've got two microphones set up over here. And I have Two microphones set up over here, but this one's just on the camera at the moment. And uh, so I would just sit here, kind of like this, and uh, record the video. 
with a perspective sort of like that. And I kind of prefer to, to sit on these things here. I kind of like sitting on the ground and I've got my sort of trays with all of my crinkly sounds. Suicide. The old ginger kiss. So this here is like um, what I look at when I record, like microphone, microphones, tripod, and so you can kind of get a bit of an idea of the room in which I record in. So this here is where the uh, audio recording magic happens. So. These are my uh, microphones, plugs, uh, all my stuff, my computer. I have my uh, wire in the fan. I can stop the fan from spinning to make it really quiet. And that's where I record my audio. So that I have uh, sort of like four microphones connected to that to record my audio. And that there is my audio and video recording setup.